Hello. I went to a thrift store about two days ago and I saw this really nice long silk red skirt. I love red, that's my shit right there. So I got it, obviously, it was like $5. And then I thought to myself, I'm gonna make a two piece with this cause I think it'll look really cute as a matching set. Like, and as you can see, um, the skirt was way too big on me anyways, and it was too long. I like mini skirts, that's just my thing, that's my forte, that's what I specialize in. My first video was a mini skirt, like, come on. So I decided to do, you know, a mini skirt and a top as well. And I also like played around with it a little bit, as you'll see from the rest of the video. But that's basically what we are gonna do today. So we're just gonna jump right into it. To start off, I'm just gonna measure this skirt for reference. The skirt came out to be 26 inches long. All right, so I grabbed this square neck crop top that I love. And if you like it too, I have a video showing you how I made this crop top and I'll link it down below. Anyways, I measured the length of the top, which came out to be around nine inches. And all we are going to do is transfer that measurement onto the skirt. I'm using pins to mark my skirt, but you can also use a marker too. We just repeat this step across our fabric, marking nine inches from the top down. Whenever I make a mini skirt, I always like it to be 15 inches. So that's where I'll be placing my pins, 15 inches up from the bottom of my skirt. And I repeat this step across the skirt again. And as you can see, there's a gap between our two rows of pins we just created. So we cut in between the rows. This is perfect because the extra bit of fabric gives us room for the elastic, which we will do in a bit. Once you cut all around your fabric, we now have our skirt. As you can see, the skirt is pretty wide, so that's where the elastic comes into play. I measured just how much elastic I want by moving the elastic across the waist, then doubling it so it can be sewed all around our skirt. Now we have our elastic. Flipping our skirt inside out, I'll be placing the elastic a little below the edge of the skirt, just so there can be enough fabric to cover the elastic and then some. Once you do that, pin the elastic in place. We repeat this step all across the waist. This is how the waist should look once pinned. Leave a gap where the elastic ends meet so we are able to tie them together later on. Now we sew. For my sewing machine, I'm doing a zigzag stitch and put the tension on three. But you can do a straight stitch as well if you're more comfortable with that. Before you start sewing, make sure the elastic is secure and there is enough fabric left over to stitch under the elastic. Do not sew on the elastic, I repeat. Do not sew on the elastic, just under it. So make sure to take your time on the step. Once finished sewing, it looks like this. For the final step, you tug on the elastic, making it as loose or tight as you want it. Then tie the elastic together, creating a knot. Cut off the excess elastic and now you have your skirt. Now onto the shirt. What I'm gonna do is flip the shirt inside out and upside down. And because this fabric has a zipper that I want to keep, we'll be doing our measurements left to right rather than centered. Again, grabbing my super cool top, I'll be measuring the bottom of it, which came out to be 12 inches. Then I transferred that measurement onto the fabric, starting from the zipper out. Then I pinned it in place using two pins for extra security. By measuring the top of the striped shirt, which came to be 15 inches, we transfer that onto the top of the fabric as well. Since the top and bottom of our fabric is 15 and 12 inches, I made the middle of our fabric to be 13 inches because I wanted my top to be a bit more snug at the bottom. Now all we do is connect the three measurements together using our pins like this. Now we sew along the line we just created. Always make sure to reverse stitch at the very beginning and be careful whenever sewing a slanted line. Once finished, it should look like this. Now we just cut off the excess fabric. Once flipped inside out, it looks a lot better and much more fitted. We're gonna add elastic to the top of our fabric, so grabbing our pins, we start with the ugly side of the fabric and repeat the same exact steps as the skirt. We just place the elastic on top with enough fabric to cover it, 
and then we pin it in place. We repeat and this is how it looks when it's finished. Again, leave a gap where the ends of the elastics meet. Here it is once the edges have been sewn. The top turned out looking like this and here it is when the elastic has been tightened. I also sewed under the elastic where the gap was since we already tightened the elastic. Using a piece of excess fabric, I cut it into four strips like this. Now the strips came out to be one and a half inches in width and about 18 inches in length. To create my straps, we are going to fold the edges a bit, then sandwich them together and sew along the very edge. But first we pin it in place and we repeat this step to all of our straps, making sure only the good side of the fabric shows. Once it's all pinned, it should look like this. Make sure to sew only at the very edge of the strip where the edges were sandwiched together. Once finished sewing, this is how my straps came out. Measure how far apart you want your straps to be. For me, it was 9 inches because once stretched out, it will be a bit more farther apart naturally. Flipping the shirt inside out, we will be pinning in place where we want the straps to be. As you can see, I'm pinning and will be sewing below the elastic because I don't want the elastic to be sewed onto anything. I can finally see how the straps will look once tied and I'm loving it. Once satisfied with the placement, I hand sew the straps in two areas for extra security. Now that our straps are sewn on, here is the final result. I am absolutely in love with how it came out. The vibrant colors on both pieces makes the set really stand out and have its own unique element to it. The elastic made the skirt extra flowy yet fitted to my waist. I also added a braided orange belt as an accessory because I thought it matched really well with my skirt. I genuinely don't know which piece I love more though because the tie straps on the top make it that much more cute and I absolutely love the fitted bottom and this sort of puffed out look on the top. Also, I'm really glad I kept the zipper that's on the back of my shirt because that and the elastic made it really easy to get in and out of my top. I'm definitely impressed with this thrift look and of course, I paired it with my red lipstick and some gold earrings. The color surprisingly suits spring, summer, and fall colors really well, making this look super versatile. Okay, so here are my looks side by side the before and after. Before you go, here are some quick final words from today's sponsor. Hello, it is your number one dedicated sponsor myself. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed it as well. Hopefully I was entertaining a bit, I don't know. But anyways, see you in my next video. Whoa! Wait, there.